do the guitar. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. and well everyone else I suppose so we're on to another day of the project so the plan today we've got the top all glued on the body's looking pretty nice so far recently I drilled holes right through here through the heel block to attach the neck I like doing a bolt-on thread insert neck joint I do a butt joint because it's easy really I don't have any other reason than that so today what we're going to be doing is installing these. Yes, tiny pieces of wood. These will be going in here on the side walls of the guitar to provide support. If you drop the guitar, if you do something like that, there's some really terrible pictures online of guitars just splitting in half. You gotta think, this is all pretty straight grain stuff. It's easy. As soon as a crack forms and there's tension on the guitar, it'll just rip right in half. So as you can see, I'm going to be doing a little sound port here on the side. I still haven't decided on the exact placement. I want it off center to some slight extent towards the player, but we'll figure that out. So, I guess we'll get cracking.
As you can see, the body's coming out really nice. I did a side sound port here that I lined with a strip of ash that may be difficult to see on camera right now. I'm doing figure maple accents. And otherwise, I mean, it's turned out to be pretty much the most resonant instrument I've ever made. Which, you know, isn't saying much. Only got like four or five under my belt. But it's still pretty cool. So the plan today is doing binding. Kind of scary. But over here in my binding bending jig, I have two strips of figure maple. So I'm going to take those out right now and we'll see how it goes. Gentlemen, it is looking like we survived. So I've got my binding channel cut around the whole perimeter of the top. No blowouts. No particular issues as far as I can see. So this should fit right in. That's going to look pretty sharp. Alright, let's get to it. So, it's coming along. It's doing really good. We've got the body pretty much rough sanded to where it needs to be. I'm super stoked with how this is turning out. So as you can see, I like doing a little accent right there under the heel. That's just visible under the heel of the guitar. But the binding came out awesome. So I think it's going to be an awesome guitar. I think it's going to be really bluesy. I think it's going to... Uh, I blow up his ass. So there's a couple gaps in the binding that I'm going to have to fix. And how I'm going to fix those is uh, the old sawdust and glue trick. So we'll see how that goes. I think it'll go pretty good. I'll be doing another video about that here pretty soon. But just look at those details. Look at that. It's quality craftsmanship right there. Thanks for tuning in to this installment of Making the Ultimate Couch Guitar. This thing's coming along swimmingly, gonna be awesome. And 
and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Stay tuned for more episodes. We're going to be doing the finishing sanding, the finishing touches, filling some gaps, and making our shine. It's going to be great. All right, see you soon.